ड्यूरिंग कैश फ्लूज प्रोजेक्शन इन अ कैपिटल बजटिंग प्रोसेस अ फाइनेंशियल एनालिस्ट मे फेस सर्टन इशूज एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट इशू इज रिलेटेड टू द डेप्रिसिएशन डेप्रिसिएशन इशूज कैन बी फर्दर क्लासीफाइड इन टू थ्री अदर इशूज अ फर्स्ट इज द पॉलिसी दिस मीन्स दैट वेदर द एन एसेट इज टू बी डेप्रिशिएटेड इन द ईयर ऑफ परचेज एंड नोट इन द ईयर ऑफ सेल और वाइस वर्सम द सेकेंड इज द मैथड बाय डेप्रिसिएशन मैथड वी मीन स्ट्रेट लाइन डेप्रिसिएशन मैथड रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू डेप्रिसिएशन मैथड साम ऑफ ईयर्स जेट डेप्रिसिएशन मैथड यूनिट ऑफ आउटपुट एंड मेनी अदर्स एंड अदर इशू इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन इज द कन्वेंशन दिस मीन्स दैट वि आदर द कंपनी इज गोइंग टू यूज हाफ ईयर कन्वेंशन वेयर हाफ ईयर डेप्रिसिएशन इज यूज इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द इंडक्शन पीरियड ऑफ द एसेट और फुल ईयर कन्वेंशन वेयर द एसेट माइट हैव बीन इंडक्टेड फॉर ओनली अ पोर्शन ऑफ द फुल ईयर नेक्स्ट डेप्रिसिएशन मैथड्स आर डिफरेंट फ्राम अकाउंटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड फ्राम टेक्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड देर मे नॉट बी नेसेसरली एन एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन दीज टू ऑप्शंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉलिसी इन टर्म्स ऑफ कन्वेंशन एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेथड्स सो वी कैन से डेप्रिसिएशन इशूज लाइक पॉलिसी मेथड्स एंड कन्वेंशन मे वेरी फॉर अकाउंटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड टेक्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो फॉर एस डेप्रिसिएशन इन कैपिटल बजटिंग इज कंसर्न डेप्रिसिएशन प्लेज अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन डिटर्मिनिंग फाइनेंशियल वर्थ ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट in such a way that return down value method when used it generally improves net present value and the irr on the project then the usage of straight line depreciation method because depreciation has a direct effect upon uh, a tax has a direct effect upon the depreciation uh, in this way uh, the tax adjusted depreciation when results in tax savings it enhances the net present value of the project and the related irr on the screen you can see a comparison of tax savings through the change of depreciation method we have certain data like a cost of 200000 rupees and residual value of 25000 rupees economic value 5 years tax rate of 40% and cost of capital of 10% whereas the depreciation rate under return down value method has been computed at 22.28% if at the bottom side we see uh, the last columns totals which is the tax saving we see that tax savings in the straight line method are 53071 whereas the tax savings in the return down value method in the lower half at right side is 53373 this comparison is confirming that return down value method ensures more tax savings for a capital project than the straight line depreciation method project replacement project replacement is an event where an existing project an existing asset is replaced with a newer one in this regard we have some differential cash inflows or differential cash outflows these differential cash outflows are also termed as incremental cash flows these incremental cash flows are easily to compute as a difference and how it is computed let's see when we need to determine incre incremental initial cash outflows we just deter uh, we just deduct the solvage value as a tax adjusted solvage value on the disposal of an existing asset from the initial cash investment of the new asset the resulting cash flow is termed as in incremental cash inflow incremental cash outflow now how to determine incremental operating cash flows we have two projects the first is the existing project which, which which has its own existing operating cash flows in terms of sales in terms of operating 
operating cash expenses in terms of depreciation in terms of tax rates and on the other hand we have projected cash op operating cash flows related to the newer project now in order to determine operating incre incremental operating cash inflows we need to determine operating cash flows of existing project from the operating cash flows of the newer project the differential cash flows will be termed as incremental cash inflows like we need to determine sales from newer project we need to determine a new a existing sales from the newer sales so the incremental sales will be there we need to determine existing operating cash flows from the newer operating cash flows operating cash expenses so the incremental operating cash expenses will be there we need to determine existing tax adjusted depreciation from the newer tax adjusted depreciation when we add incremental sales uh, when we deduct incremental cash operating expenses from the incremental cash sales and we add incremental tax adjusted depreciation to this figure the resulting figure is termed as incremental operating cash inflows and the third cash flow related to the replacement project is the incremental terminal cash cash flows these are the non operating cash flows how can we determine these cash flows we need to have solvage value of the disposal of the project's assets at the end of the life then we have recovery of the investment in networking capital items now when we add these two cash flows we deduct tax adjusted gain on the disposal of the newer assets from these total cash flows so the resulting cash flows are known as incremental terminal non operating cash inflows the last issue in this regard is the inflation which is a phenomena of persisting rise in the general price level we know that we have nominal cash cash flows this means that these cash flows carry the effect of inflation they are in we may have real cash flows by real cash flows we means that these are the cash flows that are free from the effect of inflation or in the in other words these are the inflation adjusted cash flows then question arises why inflation is significant in capital budgeting a financial analyst in the process of capital budgeting can use both nominal cash flows or the real cash flows but he has to be careful while discounting these cash flows if he is using nominal cash flows then he has to use a nominal rate of discount if he is using real cash flows then the discount rate that is used to determine present value of these cash flows should be free from the effect of inflation